Hi, I'm Wendy Gregory and this is my YouTube channel, The Wendy House. I'm a counselling psychologist and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to cope with lockdown if you live alone. Living alone, even if it is what you've chosen and normally you love the freedom it brings, for most people it can feel a bit lonely occasionally. During the lockdown, however, it presents particular challenges because the social groups and the activities that normally keep us sane have suddenly been taken away. So in these very testing times, whether you've chosen to live alone, whether you're in quarantine or whether you're self-isolating, how can you make sure that you're okay? Firstly, have a routine. Human beings are goal driven and even if the goal is simply to get up and get to work on time each morning, it still motivates us. Now that so many of us don't have this, it's still really important to try to stick to a routine. Without it, we can easily descend into slobdom, slouching around in our dressing gowns all day and wondering what the point is. So try to get up at the same time each day, maybe do a workout first thing to raise your mood. Eat meals at regular times, try to make meals that you like and enjoy and write a plan at the end of each day for what you're going to do tomorrow. Next, look after yourself or self-care. The importance of personal grooming in keeping our morale high and helping us to maintain our self-esteem rarely, if ever, gets a mention from officials. But it truly does help us to feel better. So keep your hair clean, do your nails, put your lippy on, use your favourite perfume, anything that makes you feel good. If you're a man, shave, groom your beard, style your hair. Exercise. Now, if you're not in quarantine or self-isolating, make sure you get outside for exercise every day. Walk, jog, cycle, hula hoop, whatever you prefer. If possible, get to a green space with trees. Research has shown that being with nature helps us to stave off depression. And exercise, of course, releases endorphins in the brain that raise our mood, not to mention keeping you fit and healthy. Get creative. So think about something you've always wanted to do or you've always wanted to do more of or something you've wanted to learn and do it. Most interests and activities can be catered for with online courses um, and any necessary materials can also be ordered online. So whatever it is, painting, knitting, learning to play an instrument, learning a language, now's the time. There are even online dance classes or karate classes. I'm not sure how you learn the tango on your own, but needless to say, for many of us, there is now no excuse whatsoever for not getting that dreamt of novel written. Volunteering. Now, nothing makes us feel that we're making a contribution and doing something worthwhile, quite like volunteering to help other people. So if you're not self-isolating or in quarantine, have a look online to see what charities need help near you or volunteer as an uh, NHS volunteer responder. You can help people with grocery and medical supplies or just make phone calls to isolated people for a friendly chat and to check they're okay. To find out more, go to the following link. Technology has really come into its own during this difficult time and it helps us to stay connected and to feel less isolated. So you can create a WhatsApp group for your street or your block of flats, drop a note through everyone's door and ask them to message you if they, if they want to join. You can all support each other and look forward to a time when you can have a big community celebration. Early days, I know, but you could even start planning it together because it's great to have something to look forward to and a project to work on. You can, of course, use apps like WhatsApp, Zoom or House Party, not only to keep in touch with loved ones, but to schedule get togethers with groups of friends for certain times. You can even have a theme like beach party or 70s night and dress up to meet online. And hey, why not bring a bottle of wine if you fancy? Another idea is to dog into online pub quizzes in the evening, and there are lots of these running now. Many raise money for charity, so try to get together um, a team with your friends if you can. Now, naturally, most of us want to keep 
up to date with what's going on both at home and around the world. But this can actually make us feel quite down and it can even induce feelings of helplessness or hopelessness. So limit the length of time that you spend watching the news and other programs about COVID-19. When we live alone, it's easy to get into a pattern of negative thinking, but try not to dwell on how long the lockdown might last and try to just take one day at a time. None of us have any control over when it will end, so there really is no point in stressing or worrying about it. Instead, congratulate yourself for doing the best that you could at the end of every day. Now, finally, if you really are struggling, please reach out and ask for help, whether it's from a neighbour, a friend, a family member, or a charity like the Samaritans. There are many, many people out there who are there for you and there to help you. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have, please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Wendy House. And if you have any more ideas about how to keep yourself okay when you live alone, please do send them to me on my Facebook group, The Wendy House. Okay, you stay well, take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.